Hello, hello, this is John Berto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about ventilation loads and zone information. All right, so this is the part six of heat load calculation for town homes. All right, so let's get into it. So for venti so as we know by code, we need to provide ventilation to any dwelling unit, any building. So ventilation is a very important topic. Okay. So for residential, the calculation is pretty much simple. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another video to calculate how much ventilation this house requires manually. Okay. But in this case, since we have the software, right? Soft or any other approved ACCA ACA um, would be able to do that too. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go to the zone information. After you check your worksheet and you already input your internal loads and everything is good. All right. So we're going to go here, which is the zone information. Under this zone information, you have the very, very important input. Very, uh, you, you, you have a lot of data that you have to input. Okay, so in here, indoor conditions. So what we have is for heating and cooling. So for heating, it's usually like 70, 70 degrees and 3% relative humidity. And then this is the grades, but it, it just populates. All right. Okay, for cooling, it's 75. So in other words, the indoor conditions are uh, most of the time based on R-ray, 70 for heating, 75 for cooling and 50% relative humidity. Okay. Okay. Or also you can create a table. See, you can always create a table. There's these three dots and you can always put in here another, see other conditions. So that way you just can, you only select your options. See, for example, if I do this, this is 50% relative humidity. So whichever. So in this case, what we're doing is we're putting none and then we're going to put in here 30% relative humidity. Let's see how it goes. Okay. All right. So we have the indoor conditions. Now the second part is the system characteristics for the system characteristics. This doesn't take into effect as atmospheric combustion. Okay. Humidification. We don't have that. We can make some other examples about that. However, the topic of this video is central ventilation type. Okay, because we have to provide ventilation to this house. Okay, so also another aspect of this is if you are wondering about the atmospheric combustion, so there are two options. If you want an immediate answer, you click here and then you press F1. And under F1, let's see if we find something about it. So if you press F1, so you click in there and F1, it says zone information screen overview. Automatically it tells you, see, there is a video in here. There is more videos. And then in here it, it, it explaining system characteristics. See, there are several sections to this screen. System characteristics, you click on it. Why? Because atmospheric combustion is under system characteristics. Okay. So you click on that and you're going to be able to find the explanation for atmospheric combustion. So let's just read through it. It says, if combustion air is taken from a conditioned space, for example, here it says by an unsealed gas or oil fire furnace or boiler, there must be sufficient infiltration to compensate for the oxygen that is consumed, which is right, right? So if you have a furnace in your basement, you need to do a calculation to bring air. They need oxygen, right, for the for the process to work. So if it doesn't, ventilation will be added to the load and it will be increased. So if you intend to use unsealed fuel fire equipment, combustion air will come from conditioned space. Check this box. Okay, otherwise, and check it. If you check this box, enter estimated input capacity of the furnace or boiler. All right. So you have the explanation in here. Okay. But sometimes everyone is, so you have for humidification too. We can make another video about it actually. But what happens is it's a, a, so, so especially when you have 10 projects or five projects, right? You're running out of time or you're on a tight schedule. What you're going to do is just click it in here and see how is your load and check it and see how is your load. That's the quickest way. Let's do it like that way for now. And then we're going to see. Okay. So for central ventilation type, what we're going to do is just clicking here. And then 
what type of ventilation will you have? So as, as I did other video, we, there are different types of ventilation. So in here, you're gonna set outside air, heat recovery, energy recovery, ventilated dehumidifier. This is the most expensive one. And also you can see my other video that talks about energy recovery, which is similar to the heat recovery. Okay, so you can see in the card uh, above, right? So that's what we're, that's that's what you can check the the video about ER, ERV. Okay, so in this case we're gonna put just outside air for heating and for cooling outside air, and as you can see, this populate all this populates already, and you can even put the device model. So in here you can put Panasonic, Braun, you can put. Um, April layer, whichever you want. Okay, so in case in this case, let's put for example brown and see. Let's see. There you go. All right. So automatically it populates living air state. So you have dry bulb humidity ratio. You hit OK. So and in here it's a central vent type outside air, outside air. Now another system characteristic in here it says blower power. So that is a big difference. This really, really makes a difference. So if you want to check in, the, in here and you want to be uh, what they call conservative, check it. Otherwise, uncheck it. So what does this refer? Usually when you have a, an equipment and it has a fan, it releases power and that power has heat, right? Produces heat and that heat is sensible so in other words it's going to add to your load a lot, actually a lot so what we're going to do in here is i'm going to check it later and we're going to see on, on how much this tonnage uh, increases okay but next what is hot water piping in this case we don't have hydronic uh, system all right it's air only air only now we're going to go to the ventilation in here it says what is mja the mja is by default manual j version 8 right so we're going to have different options in here. So we have ASRAE 62.2, 2019, 16, uh, 13, and 10. Okay, so if you want to be precise with your calculation, you want to see what the location. Okay, let's go check on my location. The location is, uh, you're going to go on the project information, and here it says Washington, D.C., or depending on whatever location you are doing. So and in Washington, D.C., we're going to, so we, we may, I made other videos about it, about how to look for this information. So what we're gonna do is let's let's put that in practice very quickly. Okay, so we're gonna go here to Google. Under Google, what we're gonna do is put um, Washington, see, it's very easy, Washington DC upcodes. Okay, so if we put uh, Washington DC upcodes, you're gonna be able to find District of Columbia building codes, there we go. And then you're gonna have in here everything. So what's the mechanical code? The mechanical code in here indicates uh, DC mechanical code 2017. Interesting, but it's based on IMC 2015. Okay, that's code. And what is ASRAE? A standard, like a, a set of guidelines and procedures, right? Okay, so we're gonna click on this. Okay, no problem. And then this is based on ASRAE and IMC 2015. Okay, let's go back a little bit more. Let, we're gonna make this above. Okay, so this is DC Mechanical Code 2017 and it's based on IMC 2015. So you go to reference, referenced standards, right? Click on that and then you're gonna be able to find ASRAE. So ASRAE in here indicates ASRAE 2013. See, there we go. But this is ASRAE Fundamentals Handbook. No, I don't want that. I want ASRAE 62.1, see? 2013 see ventilation that's the venti standard for ventilation however this 60 62.1 is for commercial but we're going to assume that this 60.2 2013 is for residential see so basically we're going to use 2013 based on code okay so that's how how the process goes so we're going to put in here as 62.2 2013 and then we're going to put in here how many number of bedrooms how many bedrooms do we have so let's double check on that very quickly. So the only number of bedrooms that we have is one, two, three. We have only three bedrooms. We're gonna check on the other one too. Kitchen, living room, no. Basement, in the basement we don't have any other bedroom. Sometimes they put another extra bedroom in here. So that's very interesting. Whenever you're buying a house, the house has a base price, right? And then when you have the meeting, they let you decide, do you want a bedroom? We have an option for a bedroom. 
we have another option for wet bar, we have another option for finished basement, depending on how much you want to spend. For example, they would say, a finished basement will cost you an extra $20,000, another bedroom will cost you another $10,000, something like that. So, so if you have a basement in here and you have a bedroom, you're gonna have instead of um, one to three bedrooms, you're gonna have four, right? So in this case, we're just gonna put one, two, three. Owner's bedroom, bedroom one, and bedroom two. Let's go back to the zone information and we're gonna put in here three. There we go, all right? Already, so as rate 2013 is not code, it's a standard, and then automatically it gives us the central vent supply AVF, CFMC. You need by code, but just remember, when I say by code, it doesn't mean by ASHRAE 62.2 2013, right? By code means, uh, as we saw in here, by code means based on DC Mechanical Code 2017 or IMC 2015. Those are codes, right? But the reference standard is uh, ASHRAE 62.1 or 62.2 in this case, 2013. I'm going to give you another resource too, because um, you can look the codes in UpCodes and also in the Digital International Mechanical Code, see, IECC, Mechanical Code, okay, what is this, uh, hold on, yeah, I fixed it, okay, so International Mechanical Mechanical Code, <clears throat> so this is going to be IECC, Washington, DC, okay, there we go. So in the, I, in the International Code Council, District of Columbia, so this is the ICC digital codes. When you click in there, you, that's another source, right? So you have app codes and you have the ICC digital codes and you can put all your locations in here. So in this case, it's gonna tell you, oh, you're gonna need 2017 District of Columbia building code or the mechanical code, you don't have the mechanical code in here, but they will tell you it's based on the 2015 International Mechanical Code. There we go. So when you click in there, again, you're going to be able to find, okay, yes, accept, there you go. You're going to be able to find referenced standards under the under reference standards, you're going to be able to find also ASHRAE. See in here, you're going to, be, you're going to have the same answer, ASHRAE 62.1 2013. There you go. Uh, again, this is code. Already, Alrighty, so now we already established we need this ventilation and in another video I'm going to be making this by hand, right? Hand calculation. Alright, so the last part of this is, as you can see in here, you have room ventilation, infiltration, you have internal loads, and also you have in here number 16, that's a central ventilation. So central ventilation for heating is this, for cooling is this, and latent is this, right? Why? Because in heating, if you are bringing outside air, outside air, outside, imagine in heating, you are going to be very cold outside, like for example, freezing. And if it's coming to your house, that's why you have a load. Or in summer, when you have like 100 degrees Fahrenheit outside, or, in, or Celsius could be 40 maybe, you know, who knows? Then you're bringing inside hot air, or all and also humidity so that's why you have this load central ventilation okay okay now here is the thing blower this is the blower data this is the equipment and again you can always press f1 uh as of now it's it's looking like it's 1.7 ton that's my load for the system the system that i need is 1.7 ton i would get a two ton unit however however let's check on the blower data how much it increases is 1.7 ton so we're gonna go here blower data check that and it says 1.9 ton see how much it increases now i was telling you because when you're a designer sometimes you have to be effective you don't have to overthink like oh what is this what is that you're uh, wasting a lot of time so that uh, now in your free time of course you can do some research okay so for atmospheric combustion let's see if the, everything changes so as you can see in here 25 to 57 okay and in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a picture actually about this let's take a picture okay i'm gonna put this to the side where is it? Um, okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to change this. So I already took a picture, a screenshot of these values. Let's uncheck. See, atmospheric combustion, uncheck. There's nothing, right? 
Okay, did it change or it didn't change? So actually it changed, okay? So that's the best way to verify if it affects. Okay, and which one would be better? Okay, we're gonna go here and make the comparison. So that's why, see, we, we have this table. Okay, 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 there we go. So before when it was checked, heating doesn't change, see? Heating is the same. Sensible changes, latent stays the same. So when you change the, that atmospheric combustion, actually, when it's checked, you have less sensible. When it's not checked, you have more sensible, right? Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side, okay? And then I'm gonna leave this in here. See, it doesn't make so much of a difference. 1.9 ton unit, it's a still 1.9 ton unit. So that's why sometimes we just leave it on or we just uncheck it. It's not very, uh, relevant i would say because as you can see it doesn't change so much but this blower power is actually very essential because if you have it unchecked look at this 1.7 1.7 ton unit and i like to be always on the safe side so if you want to be on the safe side just click in here very conservative 1.9 ton unit and then you can get a two ton unit all right all right i hope you enjoyed this video and hit the like button that helps a lot and subscribe share and subscribe all right i'll see you in the next video